What's up guys, it's Aaron here today, and yes guys, I'm bringing you guys back with another video today. Um, in this one, I will be doing a review of the Hitman Absolution in the Deluxe Professional Edition. The reason why guys, I decided to do this for is because there was a long story behind this. It's been stuck on my shelf for ages, I've been waiting and waiting to actually... Shit, did I break the box in? No. Sorry, I just thought I... Like, I done that in the box, <laughs> I thought I broke it. Uh, but yeah guys, so in this one, yeah, I'm going to do a review on it. The reason why, uh, you guys are probably thinking, well why would you do a review on this now, when it's been out for months and months. The reason why guys, I did get it about three or four months ago, but there's a story behind it, and I'm not going to explain this video because it is going to go on for ages. Uh, one person who does know is Local Team 1995, so if, buddy, if you're watching now, you're probably laughing your head off, Every, uh, everyone else will be like, did you get that for free? What the hell? Something like that, but yeah Jack, you can go and tell him, or Ben or whatever, you two can go t tell him what happened about this, but I'm not going to say in this video how I've got this, why I've got it, why I got it for basically free, stuff like that, but yeah, so in this one guys, I will be doing a review on the Hitman Absolution for the third time in the Deluxe Professional Edition. So let's get straight into it, because um, I don't really want to waste lots of time, I just want to get this video done as soon as possible so I can get back on Assassin's Creed, because the reason why I just thought I'd do this now is because I thought, well um, if, um, if I'll stay on Assassin's Creed then I'll probably just, like, I'll be really really like mind things into it and I probably won't be bothered doing this video later on but um and then that's why I just decided to get this done now as soon as possible um and yeah so let's just get into it so on the front cover well basically it's it's not in the front cover it's in an awesome box club see with the agent 47 and it is in the in the deluxe professional edi uh, edition so let's just do a quick review and let's go over all the different things inside of it so well and outside of it externally and internally so at the top left corner we have the Xbox 360 logo right there we have um, Xbox 360 written on there we have obviously the green thingy there for the Xbox so, yeah sadly it's Xbox sadly it's not PlayStation 3 but you never know I might start getting it uh, I might actually get a PlayStation 3 because a lot of people have been getting them recently uh, Cameron one of my friends he's got one and I, and I sort of do feel sorry for him that he's got one and no one else has got one out of, uh, out of like the people I hang around with my friends at school Cameron buddy if you're watching this which you won't be because you probably don't have internet buddy I might get PlayStation 3 for you and Jack and Ben, I know Jack and Ben, I've, I've got one too, so um, that's what's basically uh, persuaded me uh, to get one now, so I might actually get one, but let's just get away from all that shit, and let's just, yeah, carry on with the review. So we've got um, Hitman Absolution, obviously that's the game, uh, Hitman Absolution, you might be able to see that Absolution it isn't red, and it is obviously a little bit bright out there right now, and it's, I know that it's all like coming up to autumn, well it is autumn, coming up winter, and it shouldn't be really like this, but to be honest, it's actually been a uh, a fairly good uh, couple of days. I feel sorry for people down south. I, I, Jack and Ben. But anyway, um, yep. Yeah, so that's it for the Hitman Solution thing. Again, we have the uh, clear window. Obviously, Hitman uh, with Agent Forty Seven. It's looking pretty, uh, looking pretty sexy there. Ready to kill some motherfuckers. There is two signature M One Nine Elevens. Um, we've got um, the eighteen plus thing there. Cause, yeah, it's eighteen. Sadly, if you're twelve, you go in the shop and buy it. They'll say go fuck yourself. Well, they won't say that because they lose customers. But yeah, um, and we also have a thing there, guys. Says um, LO Interactive. Of the, uh, the the Hitman logo there, if you guys can see that again in red. I don't see why they print out in fucking red for, because you, you can't hardly see it, especially when you do videos. But I, I suppose that they don't know you do videos on it. But yeah, um, so that's really it, guys, for the box. Oh, we also have a square scenics there as well. So that's really it, guys, for the front of the box. So moving on to the on top of the box. It just basically says Hitman Absolution, it's similar to on the front. Um, so that's the box on the top. On the side, well there's actually two different sides to this. This is the first side you get, um, again, Agent 47 with his two signature M1911 pistols. We have um, all stuff it includes with, it comes with the um, Agent 47, obviously the Vignal statue, which is uh, 10 inches I think it says. Yeah guys, it is 10 uh, inches um, tall, which is pretty good, I actually didn't think it was that high. God, I'm getting some walking dead figures for my birthday and they're 6 inches, this is 10. Okay, but yeah, I just can't wait for that because I really love The Walking Dead. And don't call me gay because I like The Walking Dead because I know those people probably will like The Walking Dead. Uh, but yeah, um, that's the first thing you get with it. Second thing you get is the code. It is for the Agent uh, Gun Pack DLC. Looks like you get a spaz. Um, and I'm not being retarded there and taking them out retards, but it actually does look like you get a spaz with it. Um, and also as well, guys, underneath we obviously get the Art of Hitman, which is the um, art book. And then underneath we have the Burning Hope DVD there. So that's really it for that side. Moving on to the other side. It's, um, on this side, uh, we haven't really like uh, got much compared to the other side, but we just got the uh, outline of Agent 47. Again, two signature pistols, but sadly this time it hasn't got a silencer on. Don't know why, but 
he hasn't got one of that sound. Uh, but yeah, um, and, then, and then we go on the back again, Agent 47, 2 and M911. This time he's got the silencer on. I don't know why, just maybe he's a little bit picky bastard and he likes putting the silencer on at one point. Need a point, he doesn't. Um, so that's really that on the back. Got some other, um, uh, um, external uh, information there, just saying um, all different things. It's worn because obviously it's a professional edition, so they probably made it because it's been doing really good, stuff like that. Uh, we have some artwork here, we have three things of artwork that I can't really see if I do that because it's blocking me out and I can't really see it but I'm presuming yeah, the, the, they are really awesome artwork. Underneath that guys we have the um, just basically um, other external uh, information, yeah just the standard shit what you usually get with games these days but to be honest it is actually alright shit though if you know what I mean. But yeah so, and, so just to open this up we have got a little tab there you just pull it back like so, lift it up, um, yeah it's just white inside so, so I think they're going to put a, like a pattern on it because it's not exactly the thingy and I, and I only got this for like I don't know how much you got it for now I think about £22 but, but yet again I didn't I got it for free but I'm not going to say that because yeah I'm, so I'm not going to say why um, the first thing you get on top guys is the two um, silencers these just the uh, silencers basically you just uh, push them in to the, uh, the M1911s which I'll do that in a minute when I get into it so they're the two silencers you got on top first Put them on my bed so I don't lose them. Next thing you get, guys, is the one down from the um, from this one, which is the Dutch Professional Edition. You get your um, the one down from it, which is just the Professional Edition. And this obviously comes in, in again a chunky, really chunky, sturdy case. Well, it's not really, really chunky. It is pretty awesome though, and I do actually uh, love the artwork on this and the material and stuff like that. So on the front, we have the uh, Agent Forty Seven again. Two M1911s with no all silences. Uh, Hitman Absolution again, 360 logo, Xbox 360, and the normal. And, I, and, I, and actually, as well, guys, um, the, the thing I actually like about this collector's edition, like, um, basically, because um, obviously it includes the Delta Professional Edition and then the Professional Edition, um, and uh, instead of just like shotting in, like, the, I don't know, a standard copy of the. Um, uh, like of the game, which is actually really really awesome. So basically, um, in this text edition, you get the the uh, a standard copy, which is inside in a minute. You get the professional edition, and then you get the deluxe professional edition. So basically, you get like three editions in one, which is actually pretty awesome price for three, basically. Um, and that's really it for the front. On the side, um, Hitman Absolution. Again, we have the Xbox logo, really small there, and free uh, the free sixty. Just yeah, that's that there. Top we haven't got now, just black sides we haven't got out, well I'm not expecting out on the bottom, we haven't got out either. Look on the back, it's exactly the same as on the back of the Deluxe Professional Edition, it's basically just the same, yeah it's just the same information, so if you want to pause it at any point go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to go over it again. Um, so that's it for the back. So I'll move this box out of the way for a minute and I'll come back to the figure last, because I just like saving the awesome figures for last. And when we open this up, on top we get a standard copy of the game, so basically three editions in one, again really awesome. Got a, uh, a standard version of the game, same artwork as basically on the Deluxe Professional Edition, the Professional Edition, so yeah I'm not going to go over it, that's the front, that's the back. We'll open it up, we get your, you actually get the two discs, obviously you get the bonus disc, you get a manual and loads of other things, so that's in the inside. I'll just tip the things out quickly. Um, on top, well actually I was going to start on the bottom first, we get the Burning Hope DVD. So that is the, yeah that must be the bonus DVD, I'll probably have to get around to watching that sometime. Uh, along with my Assassin's Creed, the soundtrack, I'll probably get around to listen to that sometime as well. And obviously guys we have got the game disc and this are in brand new condition because I haven't, like I said guys, I haven't tried them out, I've just decided to open them when it come. I haven't actually even played them yet, so the case. Still smells new. Yes guys, I, lo I love the smell of brand new game cases, to be they're just really awesome. We have this um, advertisement for uh, Rustlers. I, lo I love these meat, they're really, really awesome burgers. You guys probably like them as well. Yeah, Rustlers, just a little thingy for Hitman Absolution. We have an uh, advertisement for Sleeping Dogs. That's another thing it comes with. We've got your code, which is on the inside. Actually, I think it is. But, uh, yes, got the code on the inside, and I don't really want to show you guys. Well, actually, I'll show you guys it. You probably won't be able to see from here anyway, and I'm not going to bring it in closer, but if you do, there you go, pause the video, you got five, four, three, two, one. Um so guys, that's really it for the uh the the contracts passcode. So that's that. Um and then obviously you do get your manual. I'm gonna have a quick look if it's in colour. No guys, sadly it's in black and white. Mm. But to be honest, it's still good though, because like I said, three editions in one, it's really awesome. Uh the manual, yeah, 
pretty decent and then beyond the back we've got an asthma tasman for Tomb Raider which I have got as well in the survival edition I think it's, it's not the one where you get the figure with it but yeah that's the advertisement for that so that's the manual so that's basically everything guys except oh we actually have another code here as well for the um the, the uh, agency gun pack code we have that as well um so yep yeah, we get that we get your art book which I just totally forgot you, you get an art book and the figure thing I don't know how I just forgot this is the art book you get of it it's, it's not one of them really massive ones and it's not one of them really small ones it is uh, a medium sized art book it's pretty nice agent 47 again with a signature and one nine eleven. So I just said that a hundred times now. Um, and obviously the art of Hitman. I'm just gonna open it up quickly. We have the skull there, Hitman. Uh, Try to think the best way to do this. We have some. Um, oh, there we go. We have some. Yeah, just different types of pictures um, inside the art book. So that's the art book. So that's really it, guys. For the oh, I'm forgetting the last thing. The figure. I always keep forgetting the fucking figure. Cheers, guys. Let me get the figure out. Don't call me psycho, then I just forgot the figure. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, so just to get the figure out of the box as well, this is the figure. This is the awesome Hitman Absolution figure. Hey there, Baldy. But yeah, guys, this is the figure. Really, really, really awesome figure. Love it to bits. Artwork on it, really good, have to admit that. They've done a really good job of it. And on the back, he's got a barcode. I'm actually see how much you get from him in uh, Asda or something. It's a joke, I'm never ever going to trade him into Asda. Or Tesco's or Morrison's or even Aldi because I know a lot, lot, lot of people go to Aldi these days because they're cheaper. But yeah, guys, um, so this is the figure it comes with. Pretty decent figure. Uh, 10, inches is, uh, 10 inches is the size, I think. It says on one of these sides. Yeah, guys, it's a 10 inch figure of Agent 47. So yeah, um, and obviously I'll just, yeah, I'll bring it a bit closer so you guys can see the detail. That is his face. What the? He's like. Oh god, he's a, my head's actually bigger than his. Okay, I didn't, I, I, I wouldn't have thought that. Well, actually, yeah, obviously, because he's not a fucking real person, is he? Uh, but yep, yeah, so that's the detail. I mean, I've got some really nice detail as well on his tie. You guys might be able to see that. But if we go right, right, right in on his tie, you guys got the Hitman uh, blood money thingy. You might be able to see that though very clearly. But yeah, he has got that on there. Uh, what else has he got? Key features. Yep, yeah, the two M1911s, the two pistols. Again, really, really awesome detail. We have that one on one side. Flip the thing around again. No one on that side. And then one last thing I forgot to mention is these two awesome things. The silencers to simply just simply. First time doing they're a little bit stiff actually, but they're they're, they're alright now. They're, they're not hard. Um, these are the two suppressors it comes with, um, and they're the two suppressors on. So it looks pretty awesome actually. It looks like a little awesome little. Um, Yoda style Hitman thingy majiggy. I don't know why, but yeah, just yoga. Yoga? Yoda, I should say. Um, so that's really it, guys, for the Hitman Absolution and the Deluxe Professional Edition. So everything you get, Agent 47 figure, you get the uh, Professional Edition, uh, well, the, the case for it, the awesome art book, the um, Absolution Agency Gun Pack DLC, a standard copy of the game, manual, another code. Uh, this advertisement for sleeping dogs and I and it has actually got a code inside as well there uh, for the roller pack and stuff like that that's a code for that advertisement for rustlers and obviously the box for the deluxe professional edition so that's really it guys for this video Let's just move that back a bit so you can see my face yeah um see so yeah, guys that, that's really it for this video I know this video is pretty nice dragged on a bit so I do waffle on you guys know that if you've been watching me I do waffle on a little bit but that's really it guys for this video so if you guys Want to see any more collect editions buying for, for like uh, me? Because pe personally, if you guys want to see like Skyrim, because I'm in the Legendary Edition, I, w I will try and save some money and buy it just for you guys. So smack a comment in that box below. I will reply to you. Just let me know what collect edition you want. Some ones I'm thinking about getting in the future if they come down in price is the GTA collect edition. I I'm actually thinking about getting that. The FIFA collect edition. I might actually still gonna um, probably uh, ask for that for my birthday because you can get it for, for about. Uh, 50 or 55 pound hour in game so I'm, I might pick up that um, so yeah basically just make a comment in the box below and let me know what class editions you you guys would like to see on my channel or any other things you'd like to see unboxed or reviewed or anything like that let me know I'm your man do it just make a comment in the box below and that's really it so that's really it guys for this video for the Hitman Absolution in the Just Professional Edition the Professional Edition and the Standard Edition and I guess what I'll see you guys and actually he wants to say goodbye in the next one BAM yeah